it is really hard to talk with gum in my mouth. I need to spit this out right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my Instagram. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures and kind of just some tips and tricks on how to theme your Instagram and kind of just make it flow and look very cohesive. Oh my lord, I sound so basic. I'm going to put the disclaimer out there. You by no means need to have a cohesive or themed Instagram. It's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world if, you're the if your Instagram is like not themed. I just like doing it because it's a hobby. I really like doing editing pictures, taking pictures. I love photography. And also I do it for professional purposes. I do upload a lot of beauty and fashion on my Instagram. So there are different reasons why I do it, but and by no means do you guys need to have a cohesive and themed Instagram. It's really not that big of a deal. And anyway, my Instagram literally portrays like 10% of my life and what actually happens. So don't take it too seriously. Um, but I am gonna show you guys two different ways that I edit my Instagram. I have two different filters that I use, um, one for fall and then one just over Overall. So I decided to share it with you guys. I've been wanting to make this video for a while because people do love Instagram, people do love editing, so I thought it'd be a really interesting video, especially because fall is coming up and I have changed my theme a little bit because of fall. So if you guys want to see how I edit my Instagrams and some tips and tricks along the way, then let's get straight into the video. So I pulled out my trusty YouTube notebook. I have little tips and tricks written down, so I just don't forget because there's a lot that I want to talk about in this video. Um, now that they released the iOS 11, I believe, you can do, like, you can record your screen so I'm gonna try this out so now that fall is coming up I do I have changed my theme around a little bit just with the filter I usually stick with the same how I upload the pictures so there's kind of like a formula which sounds so basic but there's an Instagram formula that if you want like kind of your Instagram to flow there are different formulas you don't have to stick to mine um, I kind of like flow back and forth between two different ones it's a picture of me and then a filler picture so like for fall a pumpkin or like a shot of my feet or something. But I always kind of do a picture of me and then a filler picture. Um, it could either be an overhead picture, a full body picture, um, a close up, like a selfie, um, and then a filler picture. And then I kind of just repeat that. Um, but I, mi I mix around so it kind of changes, but that's kind of what it is. I'll show you different options. So like overhead would be like my shoes. Um, the full body would be just like an outfit picture or something. The close up would obviously be a selfie. Um, and then a filler picture, I'll insert it here. There's just different ones that you could use. Um, but that's kind of just how you want to make it cohesive and you don't, you never want to put two selfies next to each other because it just doesn't look right. Um, I'm going to keep saying I sound so basic in this video because I do. It's like the 21st century. There's like natural disasters going on. I'm talking about how to edit my Instagram. <laughs> so I'm going to connect to my phone. I'm going to start recording now. So I'm trying to figure out this iOS thing and I thought I recorded it and I guess I didn't. Um, so this is the homepage of my phone. I have a mountain range because mountains are my absolute favorite. I love them so much. So that's my um, home screen. But what I do is I have everything like cohesively put on the bottom of my phone. I'm a little weirdo. Um, so this is my photography folder and what I mainly use is Facetune, sometimes Facetune too if I need to whiten the background, like take the background out of a photo. Um, that's really good for doing that. But most of it is Facetune and Visco. Um, so I will start with Facetune usually because I like to um, brighten the image and then do the details tool. So this was the photo that I was going to show you guys. Um, let me start from the beginning because I thought I recorded it and it didn't. So this is what the original photo looked like. Um, so what I usually do is I'll go in with like the smoothing tool um, if I need to like smooth out any like any like breakouts or something. Um, but for this picture specifically, um, my legs. So I don't know why, but my legs are super discolored. Don't know why. Annoying ass pet peeve. It, I don't really want to talk about it. I don't want to bring attention to it, but that's what I do. I smooth out so it's not as harsh. Um, but then after that, I take the details tool and I like to um, bring out the details of like an outfit or like the picture. So for instance, this specific skirt, I want the fringe to pop. So I will do the detail, detail tool and tap on that and the skirt. I'll tap on the flowers because obviously fall. Um, I'll zoom in and like tap on the bracelet that I have just because that's an article of clothing that I'm wearing and then like maybe my hair um, and then shoes. Um, so I always tap on the details of like an outfit, especially if it's an outfit picture, but in general I always like to bring out specific details in a picture. So that's about it. And then the last step for Facetune is um, I like to go in with the lighting and exposure and lighten up the photo a bit because this was underexposed. This changes from time to time um, depending on the photo, but most of the time the pictures are a little too dark, so I like to brighten them up a little bit. So that's about it. And then I'll save this picture to my camera roll. And then I'll go into Visco Cam 
and I use this to theme out my Instagram. So as you can see, some people use different apps. I don't, I just like to use Visco because it's already there and I'm already editing on my photo. Um, so I use this to kind of figure out if the pictures go together. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. I started my fall theme with the coffee photo, if you can see this photo right here. Um, so besides that, I'll, sh I'll start with this. So no, I'll go back to the fall picture. I'll show you guys my fall theme and then I'll show you my regular theme, which is this right here. Um, I will go back to this after fall is over, sadly. But for right now, I started using um, this method. I edit the photos the exact same, but the, I only change the filter. So the editing stays the same, just the filter is different. So I will upload this p picture. I already have it on here. As you can see, this is what the outcome was. Um, but this is what we started with. So I go into the editing tool and what I do is, I don't know, I always go in with sharpen first. So I sharpen it a bit because I really like my pictures to be really crisp. And then clarity, just to give it a little bit more crisp. And then I'll go into the um, filter. So for fall, my fall themed filter is C5. I just love how warm it is. Um, I love those tones and it just brings out the oranges and those burgundies and all those warm colors for fall. So. This one is, this one needs a little bit more than most. Like the coffee one that I, that I posted really didn't even need a filter because it already had those tones in the photo. Um, so I'll have this to about 6.2, that looks good. Yeah. Um, and then I'll go back into the editing and I will do some contrast. Just because I like when the black comes out in the picture. Um, expose it a little bit because it needs to be a little bit brighter. And then I'll go into temperature and just raise that a bit. It's a little too bright, so I'm gonna go back in to C5. Oh, why is it so bright? There we go. Kind of have to play around with it. Some pictures are different than others, um, so it all depends, but I just use the same filter and kind of the same method. And then I already did temperature, so we're good with that. And the last step would be skin tone. I kind of just do like 0.6. Um, and that's about it. As you can see, this is the final result. Very similar to this one. This The, the one that I just did might be a little bit warmer, but it, they're all the same. It just depends on how I do it. Um, so I'm gonna delete that because we already have the picture. Um, and then I just uploaded to Instagram, obviously. Um, but for this portion of my pictures right here, I use the filter C2. So you do the exact same thing. I upload the picture. Um, sharpen clarity and then I'll go into the filter and I'll use C2 instead of C5 so I will be doing that once falls over um, and then I will do a little bit of contrast skin tone temperature and then that's about it um, so C5 for fall C2 for regular day life so a trick that I have for your theming your Instagram is to kind of just pick a color so my colors are kind of like whites um, neutrals as in like browns um, burgundies oranges mustards stuff like that especially for fall but um and a little bit of blues um but it makes it easier if you revolve your life around the colors that you want to theme your instagram which sounds so freaking basic but i already own a ton of like warm tone colors so it makes it easy for me to have that warm toned instagram especially with like the oranges and the burgundies so if you want a blue instagram wear blue be around the ocean sky like um you have to kind of revolve your life around, around the color that you like so like for instance nikki um she's i don't know how to pronounce her last name d something something but she's on youtube with her sister gabby she has a blue instagram she has blue hair so obviously she's gonna have blue instagram um you have to kind of pick a color that you want to have your instagram color to be and then kind of just like wear the color so like if you want blue wear blue if you want a yellow instagram wear yellow Another trick that I have is to have a go-to wall um, and I have this wall in my hometown that's literally a white brick wall. It's in the middle of town which sucks because people see me at it all the time but I use it to take the white background like outfit shots so if um, I have too many dark photos at once I like to split it up so like dark light dark light sort of kind of. Um, so I'll use that if I need just like a plain outfit shot um, and I don't really know where to go and take the picture I will go to that blank wall and that will be my white background another good tip is to use your surroundings so i live in a like farmy area so i have a lot of woods around me um so i take a lot of my pictures in the woods the nature so i revolve my 
Instagram around like those browns, the trees, leaves, stuff like that. Um, but if you live in a city, use your surroundings. There's so many like urban buildings, old buildings and cities. Um, really old buildings and stuff like that are really cool to have in your Instagram. Um, coffee shops, stuff like that. So use what you have around you. Use your hometown. Use stuff that you can do, um, like overlays of like coffee and stuff like that. Brunch. Depends where you're from. Um, but I have a lot of woods near me. That's why I use a lot of like woodsy areas in my Instagram pictures. Also, natural light will be your best friend and shade. Don't don't take a picture in direct sunlight. There'll be harsh shadows. It'll look so bad. Um, I always try to take pictures in the shade, um, especially with that brick white wall. If there's harsh sunlight like on you, oh, it's horrible. So my best tip is just to use natural sunlight. Um, try shady areas, stuff like that. And by no means do you need to have like a professional camera. Now the iPhones are legit. They have the most amazing cameras. You can get the blurry background with the iPhone cameras. So you honestly don't need to go and invest in money in like a crazy camera like one that I'm filming with. I use my iPhone half the time. Um, and I know a lot of people use their iPhones too because they're amazing now. Even filming, like you can film an entire video with an iPhone, which is insane. Um, so don't think you need to spend a lot of money to have like this crazy, amazing Instagram because you really don't. Just use your phone. Have fun with it. Like Instagram is such a fun thing. Have it show your personality. So if you like music, show music. If you like food, um, if you're a health nut, like show the healthy foods that you do. Um, YouTuber, pick your, like, pick whatever you like. I like beauty, I like fashion, so I always have a lot of fashion stuff on my Instagram. Um, coffee, because I love coffee. Um, stuff like that, just have, have fun with Instagram and show your side, show who you are. Um, don't try to copy anyone else. I mean, you can use their filter, but like, just be yourself. Um, I like to put a little bit of me in every picture that I upload, so just have fun with it and don't take it too seriously. It's not that serious. Another trick that I like to use is I like to go on Pinterest and kind of look at some inspiration, um, especially for like posing. I'm such an awkward human being that I, when I get in front of the camera, even like by myself, I literally am like, I don't know what poses to do. I'll, I'll just sit there, especially with people who are taking the picture. I'm just like, eh. So I always like go on Pinterest and kind of look up or even Instagram. Like I look at different bloggers that have like different posings and I'll save that picture just so I know to like do that pose. Um, so I remember because half the time I'm, if you look at my Instagram, I'm looking this way because this is my better side. Um, but yeah, I use Pinterest for inspo, especially for fall. Like there's a lot of fall inspiration on Instagram, like pumpkins, coffee, flat lays. Like there's so many different things you can get inspo from. So use Pinterest. I know We Heart It is another one. I don't really use that, but they have different people that go on that. They use that. Um, but yeah, half the time, um, if I can't think of something to like upload, I'll kind of like search around and kind of get inspiration from other people, um, which isn't a bad thing as long as you make it your own picture, as long as you're not copying somebody else, um, kind of make it your own little twist. So that's another tip that I do. I always kind of go on Pinterest and kind of just look up some inspo if I'm having a um, artist brain block. I think that's about it. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, but um, I hope you guys liked this video. I always like watching these types of videos because I like seeing how people like express their creativity through their photography. I really like photography, especially Instagram. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of just a little bit of them on their on their page. So I like to watch how different people like to express themselves. Um, I don't know. I'm weird. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like this video and you guys do like me, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, down below. I'll have everything linked down below so we can be best friends. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.